Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I wanna help answer one of the most frustrating questions when it comes to connecting your Surface device to an external monitor, and that is when your Surface won't actually connect to that monitor and how you can go about troubleshooting it. If you go on the Microsoft website, which we're gonna jump on right now, you're gonna see there are nine different options of troubleshooting your device. But the one I wanna focus on right now is solution number five. Of course, I'll link this down in the description box down below so you can actually see all the solutions here. But what we're gonna focus on is solution number five called check your video cables. When you buy cables, you usually don't get a lot of information about the cable that you're buying. It usually just says USB, HDMI, DVR, whatever it is, and then the length of it. But it doesn't actually give you the details of the cables that you're buying. And this is actually where it's critically important to understand if your cable is gonna work with your Surface device or not. Case in point, I've got two uh, cables here. One is a brand new USB-C to HDMI. You can even say, see here it says HDMI 4K 60 hertz. So you'd naturally think a new cable would work, of course it's USB-C to HDMI. You'd think this cable would work given that it does 4K at 60 hertz. And then of course I've got a second cable here which is DisplayPort to USB-C. Um, the reason for this is, well, that was the second cable that the store had. So I've just plugged in the first cable, the HDMI to USB-C, uh, plugged it into the monitor, and now I'm gonna plug this end into my Surface Pro. Let's see what happens. You hear that the Surface Pro recognizes that something that's just plugged in. It's gonna pop up when the display settings, and it's gonna recognize that there is a second display here. I can choose the options of make this my main display, but if I actually look at that display right now, and I go make this my main display, you'll see that it doesn't actually transmit any information over to that display. Uh, I can choose to go show only the second display, and then now both of my screens have gone black, but it thinks that it's actually displaying data on that second display. So I'm gonna have to unplug my Surface Pro, and go revert changes just to get that display back. Uh, I'm gonna plug it in one more time. Again, it picks up that second display, but the screen has gone black on both of them. There's a the Surface Pro and there is the, other, the Pro and the display screen. Uh, and you're just not getting any data or any video out of either of them using this cheap cable. So now let's go ahead and plug in the other cable for reference, the cable that's not working was a cheap Amazon cable for under 20 bucks. This cable here cost me $60, so it's a bit more expensive, but let's see what happens when we plug it in. So now I'm plugging in the console cable. This is the more expensive cable. We plug it in. It takes a second to realize that we have a, something connected to the computer. And then straight away, it kicks off and it is connected on both devices. So if you're going through and you're having issues getting your Surface to connect to your external display, there are a range of steps that you can go through, but the number one step that I'd recommend is to actually make sure that you have a cable that is gonna work with your Surface device. I will leave a link to all of these uh, troubleshooting steps in the description down below, but the one that I found is the most useful is making sure that you have a cable that is correct. Uh, and this really just means don't buy any of the cheaper cables if you're worried about having a stable connection because as you just saw, the computer may recognize that there is a display there, but the cable isn't good enough to actually transmit and connect up to that display. Hopefully this video gave you a bit of information. If you did like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.